right. Uh, with all this craziness going on today, stocks were up over 100, uh, 545 points up. We're about 1,500 points off our lows established a little more than a week and a half ago. So what's going on? Margaret watches Jonas Max Ferris, Melissa Armo, and uh, Lenore Hawkins. Lenore, what happened? Well, I think the uh, the markets were just relieved today because the big surprise was that there was no big surprise. This time, the polls actually were indicative of what happened. We didn't get a resounding move in one direction or the other. And the markets, I think, just said, whew. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Melissa, um, is this the, the what's real now? The market's going up stabilizing. Uh, you know, not selling at the slightest sort of, you know, volatile sign uh, versus doing just the opposite a little more than two weeks ago. What do you think? This is absolutely a great sign for the market today. This is more than a relief rally. It's actually real buying. It's institutional buying that came in the market today. The market broke out. We held in the morning early. We broke out around lunchtime, and we're up tonight, even in the after hours, nicely. This is finally what we wanted to see. We got more than 50% over that sell-off from October, and we're over the hump of the 26,000 number in the Dow again. This is a great mm. sign, and I thought it would happen with the earnings, but then those earnings in the last two weeks didn't report well, and Apple and Amazon and Google. Right. You think and that so would have scared them a little bit? Jonas Max Harris, we were just watching a second ago, uh, Rod Rosenstein leaving the White House, um, so we don't know what transpired there it doesn't look like he quit or was asked to quit so whatever concern there might have been we'll, we'll know the details soon but but it, it didn't materialize um, but people invariably start doing the Richard Nixon comparison and a massacre of top officials on craziness ensues markets don't seem to think that's going on what do you think Definitely not in the short term. I think there was something for everybody in a weird way today. I think a lot of money was building up on the sidelines with all the weakness recently. And that money, whether it was Democrats or, or Republican individual investors, were often they didn't want something bad to happen in their eyes. And it didn't happen because everybody got something and the money's coming back. I mean, everything was up. There's definitely some signs that there's some areas that might be under increased scrutiny. I think it was very suspicious that like a, that like a Wells Fargo wasn't hot today with all the other hot stocks in the whole financial sector, because that's low-hanging fruit that could get picked off by newly emboldened Congress. But in general, I think everybody got, you know, everything was locked down from the first couple of years of Trump. Uh, the market today was up more than double when Trump won. And I think, yeah. you know, the, the profits at healthcare companies are not gonna get under attack now. There's not gonna be a repeal of Obamacare. Care. There's not going to be a lot of pressure on most financial services companies. Uh, it's uh, you know, Construction stocks were hot today because maybe there'll be some deals in infrastructure. So there's not going to be more tax cuts making us go broke. So I think, or more spending maybe beyond infrastructure. So I think everybody saw something. The only thing I'd watch out for is oil's been very weak. It's a little suspicious, maybe because Congress is in charge of sanctions more for a lot of the oil producing countries. I don't know where that's going. And also interest rates started to creep up again today. That could derail this quick. If well, it keeps so could up. the debt that just seems to inexorably pile up. Lenore, um, <laughs> Uh, you know, I know the, the old history and lore of the markets that they like split government or, you know, one body of the government and another body under a, another party's power. Uh, do you think that will hold this go around as well? I think this time things actually are different. What really worries me is when I look across over at Europe, we have a real existential crisis going on in 2019 in Europe between what's happening with Brexit and Italy. There's a lot of tension there that really could do some serious damage to the Eurozone. And if that happens, that could then put pressure on the U.S. dollar upward, which would be difficult for those U.S. companies that generate a lot of their revenue overseas. And on top of that, you've also got, I'm looking at China, and that banking sector looks like a massive house of cards. And if we see a serious problem over there, there's no way that that doesn't affect the rest of the world. So while, yes, the markets do tend to like to see a government divided because not a whole lot of craziness goes on. If we have some really big problems that happen outside the U.S., I'm not sure that the markets are going to be confident that this government will be able to work together and handle it well. Lenore, what do you think? I'm sorry, uh, Melissa. <laughs> well, I think the market's going to move forward. It doesn't matter what happens necessarily in Europe. I think the market's very strong. I think fundamentally we're strong. The economy's strong. we got to keep moving in the right direction. And we still have the, the current tax cuts in place. I think what would be bad for the market is if we don't resolve the issues with the China trades, trade war that's going on sometime by the summer of 2019. If that drags on long into 2019, I think that would be bad for the markets. Otherwise, I'm very bullish in the market. And I think if the Democrats, since they won the House, try to 
to impeach Trump, that would be bad. So impeachment bad, no impeachment good for the market. Okay. Well, they don't like they don't like uh, crises, that's for sure. Uh, Jonas, how do you guide investors real quickly right now about these next few days in particular? I wouldn't get too excited about this being the end of the crash that we did, the mini crash we had, especially in tech stocks. There's still an overhanging problem going on there. I'm saying go a little bit more broad, actually, and kind of counter the mm. other investor. I think our dollars stopped going up with this. This was the end of that. And now you could actually do better in what has been lagging for years. We've been beating the world economy for a very long time. All so right. that's right. Look. Guys, I want to thank you all. I'm sorry for the truncated uh, time here with the breaking news. But again, uh, just letting you know, a market's up. And right now, Rod Rosenstein from a few moments ago leaving the White House. All good, we're told. No one getting fired or being asked to quit. We're all so